Okay, so solving some equations is one thing, but what's actually even more challenging is trying to solve a sort of real world example. So I want to take a look at some now real, real world, world word problems. And the real world here really may be, in fact, well, we'll see how real they really are. But the important thing is to translate from sort of a story type of a problem where you're given words and so forth and to convert that to some sort of mathematical situation that then you resolve is actually important but also pretty challenging. And, and as I think you'll, you'll discover with me, um, the actual solving of the equations that's just going to be a piece of, piece of cake, piece of cake. It's not a problem. It's very, very simple. I think what's really challenging is going from the words and converting that, translating that, going through that translational process to the mathematics and to making the equation. This is what's really hard. And so the key thing here, I mean, the best advice that, that I think we can, we can keep with us is this idea of constantly thinking about exactly what we're being told and figuring out what that means very precisely. You know, mathematics is really a very precise language. And so when you read something, just don't be satisfied with sort of a vague understanding. Really keep reading it until you understand exactly what it's saying. And you'll see that the better you can understand the question, the more focused you will be on actually finding the answer. So when we read these questions, just don't, just don't read the question and go, OK, let me try to solve it, set up the equation, start working, because that's going to lead to doom uh, and destruction. What is better is to very slowly look at the question, think about the question, make sure we understand what we're given, what we know, what we're trying to find out. And, and through that method, we'll be able to write down the appropriate sort of mathematical fact, like an equation, and then solving it will be a piece of cake. We'll take a look at a whole bunch of examples. So join me, if you will, on our exploration to solving real-world real problems. problems. I'll see you later.